Hello. In this video, I'll tell you how I made the self-playing Music Maker lap harp and xylophone with Arduino that you see behind me. Both instruments can be connected to a computer and play MIDI signals that are sent to them from digital audio workstations like Ableton or LMMS. Let's start by talking about the upper part of both the instruments. You can see that they're mounted on top of uh, laser cut plywood. Uh, which I made by just recreating the outline of the instruments in Fusion 360 and then using the offset tool to add two centimeters around the edge of each of them. They're held uh, down with these simple uh, 3D printed clips, uh, which keeps them from moving uh, fairly well. The mechanisms that actually strike the notes to make the sound are small 5 volt solenoids that I got off digikey.com. Uh, they're easily the most expensive component overall uh, at about four and a half dollars each. Uh, but these are small electromagnets that when powered will uh, move the plunger down. And I uh, have that happen in about eight milliseconds, uh, so it's fairly quick. The way that they're mounted here is I made these 3D printed clips, uh, which will snap over the round body of the um, solenoids. And then they've got a small hole on the back, which these set screws uh, go into. And those are just mounted onto a piece of angle aluminum, stock angle aluminum. That really allowed me to precisely dial in the position of each of the plungers, since there is a couple millimeters of variation between uh, where those strings were on the lap harp. The uh, height uh, has to be really important as well, since there's not much travel distance. So to uh, make that really adjustable. Uh, I created these towers on the end which have a slot and there's a similar thing going on with the xylophone over here where they mount uh, to get that as close as possible to where it needed to be. Each of the, uh, uh, well on the xylophone there's a slight difference here too with these pieces in between since the uh, wire runs were kind of long. I created a, another uh, component here that would help keep those wires uh, pulled in and not falling down onto the keys. The solenoids need two connecting points to them, uh, and there's small little um, flanges on the solenoids to solder to, so uh, use some really small gauge wire uh, for all of those connections. And those run down underneath the board to where the electronics are, and instead of having them directly connect, I decided to create some uh, connector points here using a crimping tool uh, to make some custom headers. That allowed me to remove the entire top uh, to service the bottom without having to worry about the connections being disconnected. Both the tops are held on just with uh, four bolts, uh, one in each corner. So let's take those off now and see what's going on underneath with the rest of the electronics. Okay, I've taken the top off of both the instruments uh, and we'll first talk about the corner mounts here. I designed these also in Fusion 360 uh, from the same file that I made the bases uh, from. And the holes, while well, the bolts go in there, they're not actually threaded. I just made them slightly smaller than the diameter of the bolt. Uh, and then the bolts self-tap into the softer plastic. Um, the instruments share a lot of commonalities. They both have a Arduino uh, for the brain. They're using these uh, relay boards made by SaneSmart, which are about $15 on Amazon. Uh, they both have power supplies, and there's a, a circuit board on both of them that mounts and connects to the solenoids up on the top. The uh, lap harp was the instrument that I built first, so there was a few mistakes I made here that I tried to correct in the second one. Um, for example, the power supply here is the 5 volt power supply. It's kind of high amperage. I had it left over from a project uh, that I did with some uh, addressable LEDs. Um, and the relay board itself actually needs a separate 12 volt input as well to power all the relays. Uh, I only had this one power supply uh, laying around that was 5 volts, so uh, this is actually getting powered by a separate wall connector. Uh, so there's two wires to plug in on this one. Uh, this does uh, work with just an Arduino Nano. Here I'm using a generic version, uh, and it almost uses up all the GPIO pins. Uh, I had to reassign some of the analog input-output pins for uh, digital control on the relays as well. There's 15 notes, I believe, on the lap harp, so one of these relays ends up being unused. Over on the xylophone, uh, since I bid, uh, built this second, I ordered a 5 volt and 12 volt power supply uh, to put underneath, so AC-DC converters. Uh, the wire that's coming in is actually cut off my old um, laptop uh, Macintosh MacBook. Um, 
and is uh, split in parallel to both the power supplies for the input, 120 volt AC, uh, and then you've got the uh, 5 volt and 12 volt, volt going out um, across the board to where it needs to. Uh, on this one, I used an Arduino Mega. Uh, since there's 25 notes on the xylophone, uh, that's also why I have to have two of the relay boards, even though a number of the relays didn't get used up here. Uh, those have 16 each, so there is some extras. Um, the uh, way these are wired uh, is the same on both both instruments. Um, they are three pin relays, so there's a common connector in between uh, that can get thrown to the normally closed or normally open position. Uh, so the common pin is what I have running off to connect to each of the solenoids. Uh, and then the normally closed position is left open and the normally open uh, position, they're all connected in parallel to the five volt power supply. Uh, so essentially when you turn on the relay or digitally write it low, then it will connect the yellow wire here to the red and that powers the solenoid to uh, turn on. The program that's running on both the Arduinos is fairly similar and I have them in their entirety on my website, which again you can get to in the links below the video. They both require that you uh, install the MIDI library uh, which isn't going to be found in Arduino's official uh, libraries that they host. Uh, but there's a link on my website to that, so you can download it from GitHub. The program is fairly simple. Uh, I've defined all of the different keys on the xylophone here and the relay that they connect to for reference. There's a note list here uh, that has all of the different notes that can be played, and that allows us to assign a number to them that relates to the uh, actual MIDI number that gets sent from the digital audio workstation. Starting at 31 here, that would be like the low G. Uh, I did put two duplicates of the lowest octaves um, and two duplicates of the highest octaves so that if the song plays a note that's below the range of the xylophone, instead of not playing anything at all, it'll play um, the next highest note up again. So you still get a sound uh, and it's the right note just transposed one octave, which sounds better than silence. Uh, there's a couple of functions at the top here that define what happens when a signal is detected coming in over USB uh, that contains a MIDI byte. Uh, and all I've told it to do is uh, do this second function, which is to pluck. And that's as easy as uh, turning the relay uh, on and off so that it uh, strikes the uh, key with the solenoid. Setup function just has the normal uh, definitions of the outputs for the relay board. I start them all high to make sure that they're um, in their state where the solenoid isn't powered so they don't get burnt out. There's a few functions to begin the serial communication. Um, for this case, it's much higher than when you're just debugging. Uh, baud rate of 9,600 is usually typical. Uh, this is a lot faster. And then the main loop function is just calling this read function. That's the most important bit there. When it detects something coming through, uh, then what it does is it uses this set handle note on function, which we just defined above. I was running into some issues where the relays weren't closing after they fired. So as part of the loop, I did make sure that uh, it always closes all the relays once more. I was afraid that this would really slow down the uh, function of it, but it seems to be unnoticeable uh, and solve the problem. On the software side of things, I had to install a number of free pieces of software. I'll provide links for those on my website, which you can get to in the description below. First of all, I had to install this program called Loop MIDI, which creates virtual ports between software on your computer. Uh, so the digital audio workstation like uh, Ableton or LMMS that is actually playing the song needs some way to pass that information on the computer to other pieces of software uh, so it can get written to the Arduinos. The program is great. You can just add extra uh, channels and give them really descriptive names. So I created two here, one for the xylophone and one for the lap harp. What this is passing information from the digital audio workstation to is uh, this piece of software over here. Uh, this is called Hairless MIDI. And Hairless MIDI creates a serial bridge uh, between your computer and a connected device. Um, so for example, this top one is connected to the device on COM4. 
uh, and what's being sent into it is the uh, data that's on the virtual port named LapHarp that we created in Loop MIDI. The one down below here is uh, connected to another COM port, that's the xylophone, and I'm sending out xylophone signals to that. Uh, for prototyping and testing, uh, before I had a digital audio workstation, I was just using the free virtual MIDI piano keyboard, uh, which if it isn't installed on your Windows machine, you can download. Uh, you can always, uh, in the preferences uh, or under the edit menu, change the uh, output MIDI connection here and then use the keys on the keyboard to see uh, if it's working properly. To uh, find songs to play, uh, they need to be in a MIDI format. So there's a lot of free MIDI songs you can download online from uh, bitmidi.com, for example. Uh, here they have Billy Joel. Uh, and then you can download this song uh, in a relatively small MIDI file. What I chose to use as my digital audio workstation was the free uh, LMMS, uh, which is fairly great and I would recommend uh, for being a free product. Uh, when you open a blank instance of it, you can import that MIDI song that you downloaded uh, and it will show up as something that you can assign. I've already created one for the file that we're working on there. The Piano Man MIDI file that I downloaded. For the various tracks here, you can go into the settings of each and select what the MIDI output is, whether you want it to go to um, the lap harp virtual port or xylophone or both. Uh, you can also leave them unassigned uh, if it's not a meaningful track for the instrument that you have, such as percussion. And once that looks good, you can play the song. And if everything's working properly, we should see the song show up as being sent through our serial bridge in the hairless MIDI. And we should also see it playing on our instrument.